Hello Ratbags, it's Joe Plays Games. Welcome back to another ARK PS4 Let's Play video. Today guys, we're taking a break from taming. We're going to be looking at what you need for a fabricator. Now a fabricator is... A fabricator is your window to advanced materials and advanced items. Like special um, reinforced guns, like fabricated pistols, assault rifles, all sorts of stuff that you can need. You're going to need to make um, scuba gear with the fabricator. There's so much you need the fabricator for. You do need to make the fabricator in a smithy. And here's the resources you're going to need. You're going to need 35 metal ingots, 20 cementing paste, 50 spark powder, 15 crystal and 10 oil. Now I've got the crystal and the spark powder but we need just two more oil. So you know what we're going to do, because we're going to need a lot of oil, the fabricator needs oil to run. You need to make oil into petrol. So you're going to need lots and lots of oil. So we're going to head over to the snow biome. Now you can get oil from under the sea, um, even in like really deep rivers you might find an oil geyser. But I want to go to the snow biome because I can pick up some fur as well. And I'm going to need to start looking at fur for other things, like I want to get a ghillie suit. Um, actually, I don't know if that needs fur, but some of the other suits definitely need fur. Now, it is cold. I ain't going to lie. I'm probably not best equipped, but again, as soon as I get some fur, I can make some fur armour and then we'll be warm. You would drop in the water. I asked you to land and you, you would land right there, wouldn't you? Not, not on the sand, not on the rock like I wanted. Come down here. Well, why am I still in the water? Help. Oh, now, now you land on the sand, you silly boy humanoid. Now the snow biome has pretty much all the advanced sort of uh, materials you're going to need, resources. You've got silica pearls, you've got oil, you can get obsidian, and there's usually a fair amount of metal as well. There are, of course, some dangers. There are lots of wolves. You're going to come across some mammoths and the T-Rexes roam around this area a lot more as well. Oh look, there's a woolly rhino. Hello mate. Should we help him out and level up this derpy bird? Oh, I think I hit the woolly rhino there. Didn't mean to. Go on, we can take him on together, mate. Did he eat him? Did he eat him? Oh, he's on the run. He's on the run. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh. Damn. One bite nearly took out my after bird. Whoa, okay, I better be careful, I better be careful. Let's fly back round. Ready, ready. Come on. Man, he's, he's not going down. Okay, let's go and get onto an iceberg for a second. Recover our stamina. Okay, that should do. Should be able to take him on there. Probably a good thing. Oh, look, he's eating the penguins. Leave the penguins alone. You monster. Man, he's lost all that bloodiness. He was really bloody as well. Oh, shuka. that was a big bite. That was a big bite. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to do this. What level was he? Son, oh mate, oh the birds need dying. The birds need dying. Maybe you know what? I think I've bit off a bit more than I could chew. I think this T-Rex is like hungry. And I haven't even got bow and arrow, so I can't even like get up somewhere high and shoot him. I came directly from not building my, my my base. Come on! 
Whoa. Okay. Okay. This is getting silly now. Okay. Oh, he's nearly. Oh, he's nearly out of stamina as well. Come on. Oh yeah. There he is. Oh my God. Oh, he's stuck. No, he's not stuck. He's not stuck. He's not stuck. He's not stuck. Now maybe he's stuck. He's in that water. I come off my bird by accident. Could be bad news. Ah, uh, you know what? I'll get you. I'll be back, mate. Don't worry, I'll be back. <coughs> okay, right. We're going to be pretty quick because at any moment he could come running back and then we'll be brown bread. So. That is oil. These big rocks you see underwater, they give off like some little plume. It comes up into the water like liquid floating. But on land, you can see that is what happens there. So we've got 98 oil there using a pick. Let's go and see what happens when you use an axe. Being a bit careful because my bird is a little bit injured still. And there you go, you don't get nowhere near as much oil, so definitely use the pickaxe. Okay, let's make sure I've got all my weapons equipped. I could probably take out a couple of these wolves, to be fair. There we go. That'll level you up, son. You'll get some meat from that as well. So derpy. Of course, level 16 wolf. I need to melee. I need. He needs. He desperately needs his uh, melee damage leveled up. Yeah, it's pretty poor. Oh, that done a lot of good. It was like two. Where's the other one gone? There he is. Come here, little wolf. Wolfie, wolfie, wolfie. Oh, oh, you jumped out of the way. Good, good dodge. Good dodge, bro. Good dodge. And there we go. We took out the dangers nearby, more or less, so we can go down and get the last of this oil. And that is a lot of oil. Like, to be honest, you might not need much more than that, but since we're here, I'm going to go and gather the last ones over here. It's not a bad area to build on, actually, if you can get used to the cold. Um, like wearing fur armour and stuff. I know plenty of people that have built like their bases on them igloos over there. Oh, I need to eat. I think I'm hungry. Oh, sugar, yes, I am desperately hungry. See so what I didn't do, I didn't get the bodies of these wolves, and that's probably a good idea, so we can get the actual pelt. Yeah. So the pelt you can make into fur, that is what I, I mistakenly said earlier, that you get fur from them, you don't, you get pelt, and then you can make the pelt into fur. Alright, we'll start heading off back now, I don't think there's anything else I really need, like we don't necessarily need silica pearls, but they're just under the water here. Actually, I might as well show you, I might as well show you while we're here, oh no, I'm getting really cold. Oh no, okay, let's let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. But yes, you probably do need fur armor. So come here quickly with a flyer. 
grab some fur or if you've got some pelt or whatever from beavers or if there's any other wolves lying around nearby go and attack and get all the fur you can sorry the pelt and then come here with a full fur armor set and then you should be wiped from the cold Oh no, leave me alone. There we go. What are you doing, boy? Oh, oh no, snake. Time bow. No, no, no. I only came down to get some stamina. Oh, sugar. Oh, okay. I need to be careful. I need to be careful. Oh, okay. Not bad. Got a new set of stuff that was just about worth it. Buggers. No! Oh no! Oh my god, my torpor must be so bad. Literally, I'm getting hit like one time by a Titan bow and I'm getting knocked out. Oh no, and he's not on... Um... Oh no, this is awful. He's on passive as well, so he won't even defend me. Oh, oh I was lucky escape there. Lucky escape. See, it only takes one silly little thing to happen and you can get knocked out and eaten. I ain't gonna lie, it's quite nice coming flying into my base now. I've built it up a little bit. A couple of you said it was good to see that I actually made a base rather than just that one building. It is nice to have a building. It is nice to have something you can call it sort of home. Right, so I've got the oil. We will come and get some hide in a minute. Let's go and see what we need to put inside. That way. There we go, put the oil in. And we need spark powder. We need crystal as well. I'm, sh I'm sure the crystal was in there. Hmm, maybe not. Where did I put the crystal then? Here we go. And obviously if you need crystal, they're usually on tall mountains. So go just look up tall mountains. Or the volcano, that's where you find loads of crystal. Right, there we go. We've done it. We've got everything we need. We've got the spark powder, we've got the crystal, we've got the oil, we've got the cementing paste, and we've got the metal ingots. Let's do it. <coughs> probably going to have it in this room. I think this room's probably the best room to have, like structures, um, things to crafting, crafting stations. Now it is pretty big and it is really noisy. And there we go. In. Job done. So if you take a look at the inventory now of it. And this is what it can make. It can make electronics and it can make polymer. And obviously there's lots of other things it can make as well. Industrial grill. And industrial grinder, which you need a lot of resources for. Now I'm trying to remember how to actually get it to work. I think we've got to craft gasoline. Do we have to actually unlock the engram for that? I can't remember. I've got a feeling it's something to do with oil. And hide. Here we go, yeah, it has worked. So that's how you make gasoline. You put the oil and the hide inside and that is how you get it out. 
So we're going to just go mad with the gasoline in a minute. Although it makes quite a lot of gasoline. Now it's going to be a pretty short episode this time. I really just wanted to show you functional rather than just like mad things happening today. Put the gasoline in there. And then, ready for this? Look at that noise. It's proper noisy. And it turns on lights as well and everything else. It's really good. I like it a lot. Um, so it does burn through it a lot. So remember to turn off the thing when you don't need it. And it just opens up the world. You can start making like alarms and lighting and all sorts of crazy stuff. Now you've got this. Um, you are going to need some more advanced materials though. Like obsidian, like cement and paste for a lot of these things. Um, so go and have a look. See what, what resources you can get. Like high level resources. Um, and then come back and see what you can make. Um, have a look through the engrams. There's so much in the engrams that you need. But like I said, if you go all the way down, nearly everything involves putting it through the fabricator at some point. So like attachments for guns, fabricator. You've got the GPS at fabricator. Electrical cable generators for lighting, so lots and lots of stuff that you need. The air conditioners, so you can like hatch eggs better and stuff like that. So lots, lots of good stuff. Go and do what I did. Go and get yourself a fabricator, and then hopefully in the next episode, I might take a look at actually making some fabricated items to show you guys what you can really make and what we can do. And we might even get some lighting up around the base. I think that could be a really good idea. I fancy having some bright white lightning around. So um, yeah, that's it. I'm Jay Plays Games. Thanks a lot for watching. I will see you guys very soon for another Let's Play video. Bye bye.